using locally grown foods to make a meal. And we're very excited to be joined here live in the Vendor Kitchen, Executive Chef Scott Miller from Zahara at West Hartford Center. You have this really exciting Farm to Table event coming up October 5th, and we're using cauliflower of all things. Yeah, you're saying this is the hottest thing? Cauliflower right now is probably the hot, hottest item on it's like every menu kale. that I've seen. <laughs> it's, the, it's exactly the kale, okay. Brussels sprouts last year, and now cauliflower. Um, yeah, we opened up our restaurant, our newest restaurant in West Hartford four months ago, Zohara. Um, it's a Mediterranean, Eastern Mediterranean okay. restaurant. Um, we have foods from Turkey, Greece, Syria, Israel, um, all the way down to Morocco. Um, and we studied the foods for the last year before we finalized the concept. Um, we built menus, and after four months, this is what's selling the most, cauliflower. All right, well, let's get right into it. Show yeah. us sort so, of the step-by-step. Um, the star of the menu. Yeah, the star of the menu. So wh what we do is we take uh, a nice whole head of cauliflower. Um, we put it in boiling water, um, a little bit of sea salt, uh, a little bit of sumac, uh, not the poisonous kind, okay. just the, uh, <laughs> the spice. Um, it has a nice citrusy, almost sour flavor. Now, how do you choose the right cauliflower at the grocery store? How do you choose store? the right cauliflower? You go to Just, Zahara you and can. eat it. Exactly. <laughs> and then a couple of um, lemon wedges. All right. Um, and we let that come to a boil. We know it's done. It's basically the old-fashioned cupcake test. You put a, like, a, a little a toothpick through the, the bottom, and, um, and hopefully it, it comes out pretty easily. If it sticks, give it another minute. So usually, if you're cooking one, mm -hmm. it's about eight to ten minutes. Got it. And then... You wind up with, with so this. Yep, this right is a there. finished product. Boom. Takes on a little bit of that purpley color from the sumac, but it's nice and soft. Got it. Um, once we're done with that, we take a little olive oil, we put it over the top, we kind of brush it around. Once again, a little bit more seasoning, some pepper. salt and pepper. What else you got over here for seasoning? Well, we got a, a lot of stuff. Is that pomegranate? That is pomegranate. So, once we get the olive oil on there, we, mm -hmm. we put it in a hot oven for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh and we, my gosh, check that out. And so you get a nice, crispy, Dang. roasted cauliflower. I don't think I've ever seen cauliflower like that. That's like next level. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, you know, you eat it almost like a steak. It's hearty. Um, we recommend sharing at our restaurant on all of our dishes. But this is, you know, great for three, four, five people mm -hmm. to start their meal with. Um, this is called shkug. It's a shkug. Oh, who doesn't love a little Everybody bit of Everybody loves shkug, right? saying yeah. shkug. Yeah. So, no, it's actually a lot of fresh herbs, some parsley, some cilantro, um, lots of preserved lemon, uh, olive oil. And so this, this is being served at the Farm to Table dinner October 5th? You know what? We have not written the menu yet because okay. we're sort of experiencing these 90-degree days sure. in September. Yeah, and sure what you're going to get. You know, there's still tomatoes on my plants at home, which is pretty amazing this might for be this a good time one, of though, year. Scott. Yeah, we'll it's see. I mean, hopefully they have it. So this is called tahina. Okay. Which is a sesame yes. seed paste. Love that. Um, this is an appetizer. Is that what you're saying? This is this an appetizer. Okay. Yeah. We so we finish that with uh, some of our pomegranate seeds. We're over the top for a little bit of sourness and some texture. Check that out. As well as uh, some toasted pine nuts. Once again, a little bit more texture, a little bit more flavor. Wow. So unique. And then uh, some fresh herbs. Awesome. Stuff. Over the top, a little bit of salt, and we serve it like a steak. Boom. Whoa, nice steak knife boom. right in there. That's it, and chef. And a, a little spoon. We awesome chop it stuff. up and share. We chop it up, yeah, exactly. All right, chef, thank you so thank much. Thank you. For yeah. This is great, and good thank luck you. with your. Thank you. So, October 5th, yes, Sub Edge Farm 5th. in Farmington. Check out our Facebook page for details. Awesome. It's going to be a wonderful farm to table event. And if you can't make it to the event, make sure you guys stop by Zahara West Hartford Center. Uh, I, I've heard it's popping there, so congratulations thank on you. all the success. Thank you. Thank you. We're having fun. And we're going to dig into this. Here we are. Get after it. Break. We'll be right back.